You know, when I tested this, I put this on about 30 days and it worked flawlessly. And I mean, I went through thunderstorms, 60 miles an hour, you know, with driving wind and rain. And then I take it home and I wash this front and I kind of hit it a little bit with a garden hose and now it quits working. <laughs> so we're going to have to tear this apart, see why uh, it's not working. And I do see a little bit of moisture behind a couple of these lenses, so that might be an issue there. So after removing this uh, circuit board from the housing, I tried to figure out why this thing failed. And I couldn't find any evidence of any corrosion on any of these, but some of them just flat out failed. And I replaced this one, for example, and well, the one I took off, this didn't work. And I replaced it with a good one and it started working. So I'm pretty confident that these things just shorted out somehow. Now, I'm going to recommend a couple changes uh, because of this. I think part of the reason is the back side of this, there's not a whole lot of space in here to put the parts. So you got to be real careful when you put these components in. And one of the things are is here on these connectors that connect the circuit boards together. I just use some wire. Well, what I'm recommending now is to get something like this. This is from KNS Precision Metals, and it's a, a flat bar, uh, 1 64th of an inch thick by 1 16th of an inch wide. And I just cut a little piece off here, and I'm using that in place of the wire here so it's maybe a little flatter and the next thing is to use conforma coating and there's a couple different methods here is one that i've used quite a bit this is a conforma coating that's uh, made out of silicone and it's in a, in a brush so you just brush it on and by the way what this conforma coating is this is what they use for say like a marine type radio uh, stereo or whatever, anything that goes outside, uh, they put this uh, on the circuit board. And you can paint it right over the LEDs and everything. I mean, you don't have to miss anything. You can just douse the whole circuit board with it. You can also get it in the spray. And there are a couple different brands out there. If you get some moisture in here, then the moisture is not going to damage these. And then the other thing I think I'm recommending is to use a brush on conformal coating when you put these circuit boards on because you know there's a slot in here and the conformal coating will fill that in probably better than what I've been using which is this life seal. If I still have reliability problems after that I have to conclude is that maybe you know we're getting uh, damage from nearby lightning or something like that and so I may look into putting some MOVs in here or something.